out, yo. Yo, your man's is back. What's good? It's your man, Fire Jaws. Here on the old uh, YouTube, the old Facebook, the old Instagram, doing another Bible study. And uh, here we are, First John 5, 10. But before we get into that, I need you to like, I need you to subscribe, I need you to uh, hit that notification bell. That would be good. So when uh, you get notified every time I release a video, and, uh, uh, and I'm locking down some other things, so we're going to see how that works. But also, too, I have a Patreon page if you guys want to follow. It's uh, patreon.com forward slash firejaws. You can donate, like, or subscribe, rather, a uh, dollar a month, five dollars a month, something super cheap like that. Whatever. It helps me to be able to continue to do this on a regular basis. To be able to give you guys the bomb, gospel, fire study, etc. on the Rights of Rugged podcast. All right, I also have a cash app. It's a uh, dollar sign fire jars if you want to do a one-time donation. Whatever God puts on your heart, that's what you do. If I have uh, helped you out, edified in any kind of way, not like the gospel is for trade or whatever, but to show your appreciation and support because I like to build this platform and expand, then please give. If not, your man's going to start running ads, which I just might do. Anyway, we'll, we'll see. All right. And also, the beats that you hear by my man, Sonny Cheeps. If you want to send in beats or if you got questions, you can ask them either in comment below or you can send me an email at top, you know, discuss topics, whatever, at firejaws at firejaws.com and we can get with it. Poof, pow, bang. All right? Now, we left off last time with um, uh, 1 John chapter 5, verse 10. We're going to continue on to the end of the chapter, which is 21. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, which is 21. And um, it goes a little something like this. So he that believeth on the Son of God hath witness in himself. He that believeth not God has made him a liar because he believes not the record that God gave of his son. Well, last video I talked about um, how some people don't, don't believe God, whom God said he is. And last video, uh, I put up a breakfast club clip Breakfast Club Clip. That could have been a Freudian slip or something. But Breakfast Club Clip, whereas Charlemagne was talking about how he didn't believe uh, Jesus is the son of God on the same par as God. Well, just as a slight part two to that, right? If we go here and we look at Ephesians chapter one, boom. Uh, is it one? No, it's three, actually. Verse 14 and 15, it says, For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. The whole family in heaven and in earth is named Jesus Christ. So when you say Jesus isn't God, uh, that's just different. Right there, where am I pointing at? Eh, nope, this way. That's just different. Jesus is God. He's also the son of God. And he's also the Holy Spirit. Because it's the whole family in heaven and in earth. So if you're a believer, right, and you believe the word of God and you live the word of God and you apply the word of God, etc., then your name is Jesus. If George Foreman can have eight kids and name them all George and Georgette, then surely God can do it, right? All right, so let's go back. First John chapter 5. Verse 10, he that believeth on the son of God has witness in himself. So there's a witness in yourself when you believe on the son of God. You have a witness. He that believes not God has made him a liar because he believes not the record that God gave of his son. Well, I'm going to put this down below because this is a dope, dope clip. There is an atheist named uh, Richard Dawkins. I don't know if he's still alive or not. He may or may not be. I don't know. But Richard Dawkins said himself in this clip is from the movie um, uh, Expelled, No Intelligence Allowed. It's by uh, Ben Stein. Dope movie. You need to look at it. And what happened is, is that 
Richard Dawkins himself, of being a biologist, right, and a, and a stout, a staunch atheist, you know, and a, you know, I guess, atheist activist, wrote a book called um, The God Delusion. He said out of his own mouth, and I'll put that below, he said out of his own mouth, there is a signature written on DNA. What do you think is the possibility that there, that intelligent design might turn out to be uh, the answer to some issues in uh, genetics or in, well, in evolution? It could come about in the following way. It could be that uh, at some earlier time, somewhere in the universe, a civilization e evolved by probably some kind of Darwinian means to a very, very high level of technology and designed a form of life that they seeded onto perhaps this, this planet. Um, now, th that is a possibility and an intriguing possibility. Mm. And I suppose it's possible that you might find evidence for that if you look at the, um, at the detail, details of biochemistry, molecular biology, you might find a signature of some sort of designer. Wait a second. Richard Dawkins thought intelligent design might be a legitimate pursuit? Um, and that designer could well be a higher intelligence from elsewhere in the universe. Well, but okay. that higher intelligence would itself have had to have come about by some explicable or ultimately explicable process. It couldn't have just jumped into existence spontaneously. That's the point. So Professor Dawkins was not against intelligent design, just certain types of designers, such as God. So the, the Hebrew God, the God of the Old Testament, he doesn't exist in your view? Um, Certainly, I mean, that would be a very unpleasant pro prospect. And, uh, the trend, holy trinity of the no, New Testament. Nothing, that nothing exist. like that. A signature written on DNA. Whose signature could that be? Maybe the creator of DNA? Now, it says, he believeth not the record that God gave of his son. Wouldn't signature on DNA be a recording? Hmm. Wouldn't DNA of itself be a recording. And this is the record that God has given to us eternal life. And this life is in his son. If you don't believe that you're making God to be a liar because we already just proved God exists. So if you don't believe that, then you're making God out to be a liar. And I'm sure he's not happy with that. Just like you wouldn't be happy with it. He hath he that has the son, John 5, 12, first John 5, 12, he that hath the Son hath life. Yeah, life eternal. And he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. A and B. This is why I like the book of 1 John. Is is either this or that. This or that. This or that. Right? That was my joint. Anyway, he that hath the Son of God hath life, and he that has not the Son of God hath not life. 1 John 5, 13. These things have I written unto you that you believe on the name of the Son of God that you may know, you know I don't like no maze. It's probably Gnosko. Boop. Ido. Well, okay, I messed up. But okay, Ido. It's not no mayonnaise. Okay, did I just say it's not no mayonnaise? It's not, it isn't a may in there. Ido, that's how you say it. No, cannot tell, know how, wist, miscellaneous, to see, behold, look, perceive, right? To see, perceive with the eyes, perceive with any of the senses, to perceive, notice, discern, discover, to see, i.e., turn with the eyes to the mind, the attention to anything, pay attention, observe, to see about something, to inspect, imagine, examine, sorry, to inspect and examine, to look at, behold, to experience any state or condition, to see, have an interview with, to visit, to know, to know of anything. All right, good, right? We get the point. Let's go back. It says that these things have I written unto you on the name of the Son of, that you believe on the name of the Son of God that you know, that you see, that you perceive with your eyes that you have eternal life, right? 
So actually it could be taken in either context because there are things that I have perceived with mine eyes, signs, etc., healings that make me know because of these healings that I have eternal life. So either context is fine. And either context is quite literal. If you haven't seen my Bible study, the miracles playlist, healing playlist, go look at my playlist now. Fire draw 777. Look at that. All right. And this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. If you actually see the power of God working in front of you, working through you, you should have some confidence in you. Right? This is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Now, before I get on some old big old diatribe about whatever, right? I will say this. In this confidence that we have in him, <clears throat> excuse me, if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Now, you know, I don't like asking God to do stuff. The reason being is because when I went, I, I, you know, Matthew, sorry, not Matthew, Mark eleven twenty four, he says that you speak to the mountain. When you speak to the mountain, then the mountain will be moved. So I believe it's very important for us to obey God, right? Because Hebrews 5, 9 says, obeying God, when you obey God, that's when you have eternal life. That's when you have salvation. Right? So, in fact, let me go right, let me go right there real quick. Boom. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 9. Right there. And 5, 8. Though he were a son, talk about Jesus, yet he learned, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. And being made perfect, Jesus, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. So, by us disobeying God and saying that, you know, I'm not going to speak to the mountain. I'm going to tell God to speak to the mountain and God is going to move it right here because it says if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Yeah, but do his will. Do his will and then you can start asking him stuff. How do you feel when you when somebody be asking you stuff to do stuff and you ain't, they ain't did nothing you asked them to do? Nothing. You'll be like, man... This dude is bugging. Or if your kids, you probably end up doing it anyway for their kids, but you still let them know, like, look, you ain't, at, look, I asked you to do X, Y, and Z. You ain't give me that. You still acting up in school. You still haven't cleaned up your room. You still haven't done your chores. And yet you want me to buy you X, Y, and Z. Right? How do you feel? Well, God doesn't feel that good either. Do what he asks. He'd be more than glad to do as you ask. All right, 515. And if we know that he hears us whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. That's beautiful. If we know that he hears us, let me just say this too. I don't think anybody has a problem with God, with people saying that God doesn't hear them. I think everybody knows that God does, that God hears them. The problem is, is that we don't believe that God is answering. Some of us do, right? We don't believe in the answers of prayer. And, and, and even those of us that do, if we were honest, we would know that we don't see timely answers to prayer. Well, let's look back at Hebrews 5, 9 again, right? If I refer back to that, it's eternal salvation to all those who obey him. If you do not know what the instructions are, then how can you obey him? Hmm. Some of us have been in church day after day, week after week, year after year, and, and don't even understand this stuff. Don't even understand it. I believe it's in uh, Corinthians where he says, you no, it's in Hebrews, where he says that you have need to be taught again. After you've been sitting on it all this time, you still got need to be taught again. So the fact of the matter is, is that a lot of us, don't really uh, 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 know to obey. And that in itself is sin. 
So the fact of the matter is, is that we have to know and obey. And then God not just hears our petitions. God will do them. God will boom, show right up. It's amazing. I can't even say God to show up. Because he's already in you. He's already showing up. But it takes you to, 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 to lead. The Bible says that goodness and mercy will follow us. The Bible also says that miracles will follow. We just have to obey and do what God has said. That's it. If we know what's, if we know that he hears us whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the position to petitions that we desired of him. Again, when you see that stuff happen, man, it's amazing. You know, because you've seen it. If any man see his brother sin a sin which is not unto death, he shall ask and he shall give him life. Now, it's good that I asked because what happened was I recorded this earlier and then didn't even have the sound on, didn't even have the recording on, and I had nothing going on, and I recorded the whole thing without sound. So this is my second take, right? But I'm glad it's the second take because I actually see something here that I didn't see the first time. It says, if any man sees his brother sin a sin, which is not unto death, he shall ask and he shall give him life. You know what that is? Sin, right? Let's look at sin for a second. G264. There are people who miss the mark and err and are mistaken. We make mistakes, right? Even if we're not wandering from the law of God and violate God's law. We make mistakes. We err. And that's sin. But if he asks, or even if they don't ask, we give him life. Sometimes we just let him go. Sometimes, man, I don't even say nothing to certain people about whatever because at that point, it's like, I don't feel like arguing with nobody. At a time, I don't feel like going back and forth. I really don't. But at the same time, too, I can't go and just be daggone the sin cop running around trying to, you know, correct everything. Now, sometimes I have it up, you know, I have my limit or whatever we all do. But I also have my limit on on how many times I actually deal with, you know, whatever issues and I just let it go. And if it comes up again, it comes up again. And we, you know, we may talk about it. We may not. Good thing on social media is that you can actually keep scrolling. <laughs> and that's cool. Right? So if any man sins a sin which is not unto death, he shall ask and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death. So in other words, there are people who are out here, they're erring and they're mistaken, but they ain't really wandering from God's law. Like they're not trying to violate God's law. And those, you give them a pass up to a point. And when, you know, when they try to impose some mess on you, then, you know, Nah, brother, it ain't gonna work like that. Today, right? Actually, today, there was a brother that said, um, in order to get into heaven, we gotta do X, Y, and Z, right? Now, this was the time, today, I was one of those days, I just didn't let it slide. And they said, the goal is not to get into heaven. It's not, because God gave us eternal life, and God built the earth for us to live here forever. So it was never, we were never supposed to die, right, and go to heaven. That was not in, death was not in the plan. The only reason why we get to go to heaven is because so we don't have to go to hell. But we were never supposed to go to hell. So he was like, well, you got to live. I said, I said, the, I said, the, 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 the goal is to live like Christ here on the earth. And he said, well, you got to live like Christ in order to get into heaven. And I was just like, all right, whatever. But the fact of the matter is, it's my platform. I can deal with it here. Ha ha. Right. The fact of the matter is, is that like with that kind of thinking, it makes you not active on earth, right? You're not active. You don't live like Christ. You're just being a quote unquote good guy. You're not doing the things that Jesus did, i.e. teaching, discipling, right? Exampling. So this is the kind of stuff. It may not be a sin unto death, but just let the brother fly, man. You know, maybe he'll get it. Maybe he won't. Maybe he'll watch this. Maybe he won't. Maybe he'll watch it and disagree and be like, George, you full of, you know, garbage. You're a lying heretic, whatever. And if you think so, put it in the comments. 
Whatever it is, I don't, I don't, I don't care. Right? All you want. Totally cool with that. For them that sin not unto death, there is a there is a sin not unto death. I do not say that he should pray for it. Right? Because we it's our job to stay out of sin. Right? Don't don't pray for the sin not unto death. There's diseases that won't kill you, but they ain't no fun to have. Why should we have those diseases? Right? We should be disease free, right? For them, for them that sin not unto death, there is a sin unto death. I do not say that he should pray for it. 517. All unrighteousness is sin, and there is a sin not unto death. It does exist. Right? Now, all unrighteousness is sin. There's a video I have uh, before this. It's called uh, God's Righteousness, or Here is God's Righteousness, right? And it talks about what God's righteousness is. And in fact, in that very same video, uh, it's, it deals with Romans uh, chapter 10, verses 1 through 10, and Paul himself talks about, you know, trying to get God to do stuff. And that is man's righteousness. He says it right there in the first verse. But if you want to find out all that, go back to that video and check that out. But that's man's righteousness, right? So if man's righteousness, but this is not God's righteousness. So it's unrighteousness if it's man's righteousness. See what I'm saying? So all unrighteousness is sin. Why? Because that unrighteousness I mean, that righteousness, man's righteousness, will is, watch this, to be, it, it leaves you to be without a share in because you're not following instructions. You're not following directions because you miss or wander from the path of uprightness to do or go wrong. A lot of times our prayers and stuff, the way we pray seem real holy. But no, that's not what God asked for. So you're doing wrong. Don't do that. But I beat that horse to death over there in, in, in the last video. But I, I'll link it here. All right. We all in righteousness is sin and there is a sin not unto death. We know that whosoever is born of God sins not. Boom. He sins not. Whosoever is born of God sins not. That's why you shouldn't be praying for a sin that is not unto death. Watch this. He sins not, but he that is begotten of God keeps himself and that wicked one touches him not. So he keeps himself from sin. He that is born of God. So is it proper for a man of God to curse. He that is begotten of God keeps himself. He keeps himself. That's what he does. Is it, is it, is it sin if, uh, la, 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 you know, he keeps himself. That's it. And we know that we are of God and the whole world lieth in wickedness. This lieth means to lay down, right? To lie of an infant, of one buried, of things that quietly cover some spot, of a city situated on a hill, of things put or set in any place in reference to which we often use to stand, of vessels of a throne of a site, of a city of grain and other things laid up together. You like my interesting voice to be by God's intent set, i.e. destined and appointed of laws to be made and laid down like I done laid down the law. That's what that means. And lies in the power of the evil one, i.e. is held in subjection by the devil lying in wickedness. I think that's definition 2C in context, right? So, and we know that we are of God and the whole world 
lies, and wickedness. Now, this means we are outnumbered. Let me get drink a little water here. Mm. And we know that we are of God and the whole world lies in wickedness. We are outnumbered. But that's fine. Are we outnumbered? Considering we walk around with the power and authority of God in us, when God is in us, are we outnumbered? I don't think so. 1 John 5.20. Well, before I go on, the whole world lies in wickedness. So it's our job, right? I believe James says it, to keep one unspotted from the world. To keep oneself, oneself unspotted from the world. We're in the world. We're surrounded. The media will tell us and give us our ideas and definitions of life, success, what happiness is. And it's contrary to what we're reading here. Here. No, here. There we go. Right? It's contrary. The whole world lies. It rests. And wickedness. That's why the world has no rest. Because it's wickedness it is trying to rest in. Rest in God. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us an understanding that we may, which I know it ain't may. This is definitely Gnosko. Because I looked this up in the last one. Boom. Gnosko. We know what that is, right? to become acquainted with, to know, to know, understand, perceive, Jewish idiom for sexual intercourse between a man and a woman, which means we know, for real know, we know. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us an understanding that we may know him that is true. There is no may so that we know him that is true and we are in him that is true, even in his son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. There it is. It's right there. This is the true God and eternal life. Jesus Christ. John is trying to show us something for our benefit, not our deception. Again, we can go into a whole, uh, 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 I want to say diatribe, but we can go into a whole bunny trail or a whole whatever about the validity of the Bible, the prophetic, blah, 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 blah. Nah, I got a whole playlist full of healing videos right there in front of you that I learned from reading this Bible. I learned from that. And let me pay let me pay homage and honor, honor to certain men of God that have taught me, that I've that have exampled to me. Like Curry Blake, like Pete Cabrera, like Andrew Womack. These guys, while I don't agree with everything, and I sure enough probably wouldn't agree with me. Right. They have got me to a point where I could where I know that I can believe this Bible for what it says. There it is. And we know that the son of God has come and has given us an understanding. That we know him that is true and we are in him that is true. Even his son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God in eternal life. Well, the next verse says, little children, keep yourselves from idols Amen. So I don't just want to gloss over that because it's the last verse. This is keep yourselves from idols. Keep yourselves from things that influence your decision making and your relationship with Jesus Christ, with the most high, with the holy Ruach. There are certain things that influence our decision making. Well, I can't I can't necessarily do that right now because my TV show is coming on. 
Now we all know about you know drugs and and drinking and and and, and fornication, etc. Now I'll even say sex, married sex. That should not be your idol. None of those things should be your idol, right? But let's talk about gluttony. Food should not be your idol. If food is influencing your decision making when it comes to between your relationship between you and God, then food can go by the wayside wherever. That's how it needs to be. You'll eat sometime, right? Yo, and they slip stuff in on us. Food is very addictive, even more so with sugar, processed sugar rather, high fructose corn syrup. So it's very hard to get rid of a lot of these foods that are killing us. On, an, on another note, I don't want to stay too long, too much longer, but on another note, like, I, yo, I had to go on a serious diet, fast, etc., to get certain things out of my diet. Cheese, dairy being one of them. Ice cream being the other. I love ice cream. Ice cream does not love me. Right. And other sugar and processed foods. And this is somebody who like really does not. I'm not I, I don't eat uh, beef, pork, turkey, chicken. Right. I stopped eating those. I stopped eating chicken like uh, last year, maybe the year before. But I haven't eaten beef or pork. Well, I eat beef like once a year, you know, family gatherings or whatever. But pork, I haven't eaten pork since I was 17. Maybe like once or twice. It made me very sick. Beef is the same thing. There's certain things I do not, a lot of stuff I do not eat. So even then, like last year, I was getting, uh, this year, I was getting really, really sick. This year, last year in 2019, I was getting really, really sick, even though I didn't eat all that, put all that stuff in my diet. I didn't have a lot of stuff, that all that stuff in my diet. I was getting sick. Food was making me real sick and lack of exercise. So the fact of the matter is, is that keep away from these idols, man. They'll kill you. They will kill you. They are not your friend. Some of these celebrities, man, we worship these celebrities. We worship our pastors. Stop worshiping pastors. That anything he says is just okay. No, compare it with this word. He's a man. He's a person just like you are. Whatever he has, you can have. Just keep following this. All right, that's the end of this video. My name is Fire Jaws. You already know who it is. You know what it is. You hear my man, Sonny Cheebs, on the beats. You hear, uh, uh, you know about the other stuff, but like and subscribe. Um, hit the notification bell. Follow Sonny Cheebs. If you're an MC or whatever, you're looking for beats, hit him up. If you got beats, you want them featured here on this platform, send them to me, Fire Jaws at firejaws.com. All right, peace out.